Alright, blue deck. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack is not a good enough straight. Should have just taken it and gotten it done in two hands. Take an abstract. Might be nice to try and pick that up, but I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. Like, three molt is just kind of enough to get through the uh, the first ante. Let's uh, look for hearts. More hearts than spades still. Not enough hearts. I mean, an early trading card is money, and it's almost like hand size because we pare down our deck, as well as makes me slightly stronger going into this uh, with the plus three molt to abstract joker available. Why do I keep going for flushes when I know it's miserable with a minus one hand size? Money and deck fixing early? Yeah, and it's technically like plus three molt as well because we have abstract. I don't think I want misprint eternal. I've been trolled too many times. Die. No value off of the glut jokener. Yet. Just kind of looking for some scaling now. That's money. Get out of the gluttonous boy and probably buy this now. Since, like, this gets our eco. Oh, I guess I didn't need to buy it there, but it's fine. Boop. Would have loved to have a gluttonous joker now. Or not. I keep... I, I keep continuing to make the same mistake and chase flushes when I shouldn't be. I know better than that. The point of that voucher, it makes it possible for antimatter to show up in the shop, which gives us plus one joker slot. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and sell both of... both of these? both of these. Oh, green joker. Wait, green joker with the trading card is <laughs> kind of awkward. Long term, at least. We can decide between the two, though. Kind of a big fan of green joker on blue deck in particular. But, like, we could also just give up one molt for deck fixing if we really wanted to. Like, Riffraff's time is, uh, has come as well. Could work towards only aces. We could leverage our money to use tarot cards.
Oh, my hand is big again. It's weird. I need a chip generator. Probably in place of the misprint. Maybe in place of the fortune teller. Unless. But, there's always a chance here. Oh yeah, we go again. There's my chip generator. <laughs> All right. Let's delete you. I kind of want to just play some high card here to ramp up the green joker a little bit more. We're too strong. Check these. Like misprint wouldn't mind uh, taking a hike. Riffraff's back. Those are pretty bad. Hallucination is okay with fortune teller, but packs get really expensive, and I'm not uh, two pair. I've got that in hand already. Let's kill this. Like, I'm not too high on Fortune Teller in general, even if it's a little bit better than Green Joker right now. Straight, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Whole house seems kind of unlikely to happen, so let's just go high card. Okay. Constellation. Does probably mean we're going to get out of the fortune teller eventually. Because I'm going to need the money. Let's do this for now. So that we can see more like potential planet cards. Hold the rolls for a bit. Next joker to go is probably the trading card. Hate to say it, but uh, like we just want to get this green joker rolling some more. No celestial packs here. Those are terrible. Holy. Okay, I need to make a decision between these two. Actually, no, I don't. Just do this. Now we can start getting in the green joker going. Blueprint on the constellation if we ever get planets would be nice as well. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about Eternal when it comes to uh, <laughs> Blueprint, right? That's a that's one that we're going to be keeping around for a bit. Mercury is fine. I could probably do this now. Just go next, save some money. Ooh, unfortunate uh, boss for Green Joker. Just when we were starting to make progress. just a uh, spam singular pair in case we find supernova even um well i guess no i don't think we would be able to take an obelisk unless we hit a lot of pairs in a row this could give us high priestess which would be nice money is also good I think this is bait. Acrobat could be better than uh, Fortune Teller, though. 
I think I don't think I have the econ to support both fortune teller and constellation. Let's actually try the astronomer though. Because it's like doubling it up with the blueprint. One more roll. Okay. I don't think I'm staying in this for the full length of the run, but having an econ joker at this stage is probably fine. Ooh. Uh, Venus is much more likely than Mars. That was a really good time to have an astronomer, though. That's so much extra money for me. I've deleted a lot of my... Like, this is probably too slow. It's worth considering in place of the astronomer, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Just get our dual scaling going. And then eventually we'll get to the point where our chips are coming from like the planet cards. Yeah, the planet cards, Copium. Nope. And then we will be able to get out of this. I don't think we want because we're going to spend money on planets, I don't think we want the bull. i save this for the fancy ace. Just do this. This is easy enough. Plus five, that's not impressive, but we are stuck with it for the rest of the run. Another plus hand size voucher I don't think is necessary here. We can consider it if we don't see like a lot of planet packs in the shops, but I don't think it helps me out all that much. Let's not play our pair of jacks here. Hey, welcome Canada, Matt. Uh, kill a king. Temperance isn't bad. That might make me consider the plus hand size. Again, I just don't know how necessary it is. It's a lot of money, but I'll take it. This gets me permit every time, right? Another death is probably fine. Uh, this is a problem. I'm gonna need to spend down on the boss blind. And ramp both of these in the meantime. This is a huge, huge issue. Buy this, buy this. Snag this, maybe this could do something for me. Unlikely. Play this quite often, I wanted to copy it with the death. Pull for more planets. Buy this. Okay, we just have to pray that that gets me. <laughs> enough to beat this in one hand. This is a really bad boss for me. Okay.
Surely we get there, right? Ooh. All right, we're poor. <laughs> but we didn't die. That's what's important. That's a straight. Here I think we want to do the opposite, where I just spend an hour and a half looking for Mime and he shows up when I don't need him. Um, we just want to get our econ fixed now, so we're doing the opposite. Less concerned about ramping these and more concerned about getting my money back up. That's a good start. So we just only buy planet cards if they show up in the shop, not in packs right now. Diamonds are debuffed. That shouldn't matter too much. Two pairs pretty well leveled and kind of makes up for the lack of chips we're currently facing. So let's uh, prioritize that, maybe. I think it's probably too late to snag spare trousers and we lose our chip generator from the abstract joker anyway, so I don't know that I would take it. Very much too late for the hologram, but that this voucher is exactly what we need. Get rid of the face card so we don't accidentally play them. Fives and sixes. I have a straight, but I think this is probably more leveled up. One more opportunity to uh, hold out for this. That's like one less opportunity for planets to show up in the shop, so I think I snag it now. I lose one dollar as a result of this. But it gives me the potential to gain some strength in the next shop. straight maybe I failed but we still make it through the round I'm just a little bit sketchy going into the final anti right now if I don't get more planets okay so we had to spend a little bit here but I think it was worth Three of a kind and pairs are what we want to hit. Is three of a kind better than a full house? Yes. Just save the two pair. This gets us a little bit of money for getting closer to like being, wow. That was really good. <laughs> I should play three of a kind more frequently. We don't use discards anyway, so this one is just like completely free. 
again, I don't need it right now necessarily, but I'm a little bit worried that I I can't necessarily get through the um, anti-8 without it. So I lose a dollar, but I'll gain that money back and see more shops with more planets. Is this worth? $10 is so expensive, man. More Venus. The rare three of a kind build. Like, is it better than four of a kind? Yeah. <laughs> And we get the money ace in there. Three of a kind is just the turbo nuts right now. That's why we use that here. Now we can afford this. We don't always hit the three of a kind, so is it worth leveling up Uranus? I think plus two molt, plus 20 chips. Yeah, we just get better scaling from single pair in Venus. No. Let's save our money. It was tempting to roll there, but we don't really like this boss. This is going to be expensive, but I think worth it. Cool. Looking to be in a pretty good spot here, especially with this shop. Thank you. I think we buy one of these packs. What's Pluto doing? Let's just, uh, yeah, let's spread it out a little bit. Three of a kind is already very good. I think we'll just sell out of Abstract Joker there. It's not the end of the world. Have we hit any Saturns yet? Freight is at level two. Sure. Almost one shot. Do we even care about our card scoring? It's more about the hands scoring. So maybe not. a fair point. We can see how we're looking going into the boss. Like, pretty much only those molten aces really do anything. So we might just be able to tank it. Because, like, this... If we don't sell this, this makes up for the fact like we get chips pretty much exclusively from our card scoring. So we would, like, I don't know, it'd probably be about neutral if we sold versus not selling. So it's probably just correct to tank it. And we're already, like, scoring enough to get there, which is very nice and reassuring. Just spend a bit to, uh... I mean, this just makes it free, right? <laughs> I've already got the gold sticker on the Mr. Bones, though. Run into the boss blind here, and should have a pretty good time with it. I'm just gonna roll past the, uh... Mr. Bones, even though it makes it free. Gotta build a little bit of tension, right? Alright, so we just play two pair. See where that puts us. I think we'll be in a good spot. Yeah. 
This looks like uh, GG to me. All right, well, uh, we'll take it endless a bit. We've got a little bit of scaling left to do. I kind of spent my money, <laughs> so now I'm poor. Everybody point and laugh at the poor streamer. Can't even afford it. Can barely afford a single planet pack to ramp his constellation. All right. So we're just uh, hoping to scale the bus some more, as well as find some more planet cards. But if you are new to the stream, we do uh, a variety of different runs here. We just finished hitting the uh, the score limit with a seated run, and now we're just uh, kind of doing some casual gold stake runs. Rotating through the different decks. That's a planet card. Look, we need an immolate, and we need it now. It's the opposite of an immolate. Uh, we can't really discard, so... Bummer. Now I can't even afford the Celestial Pack. What have I done? Streamer so poor. Start with zero discards. I think uh, three of a kind was better than four of a kind, right? We haven't seen a lot of Mars, so. Casual gold stake run ascent is made up by the utterly deranged. Yeah, welcome to the channel. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Raffle. There are no planets in the shop. There are planets in this shop. Unfortunately, like, Anti-9 isn't that big of a deal on, well, most stakes, it turns out, but things get really absurd uh, on 10 or 11 because you're, like, just, often on gold stake runs, you're just, scra like, scraping by and then... <laughs> You get thrown to the wolves with the uh, ridiculous blind scaling. I wonder what the patch will bring? Yeah, that's uh, something I'm very much looking forward to. Not that, like, I'm burnt out on the game or, like, I feel that it needs much change. I'm just... Ooh. Oh my god, wait, that's kind of a big deal. We've played a lot of pairs in preparation for this. Now, that said, we're still dead here. <laughs> the run's over, but, like, that was a pretty cool pickup. Two million? Maybe that's possible. We have spread out a little bit. I wonder if air now becomes better. Probably. Probably. Like, we lose the uh, the chips is the only thing. Let's do this. Just get this out of here, see if we can hit a three of a kind. That's probably a better use of our aces. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? We'll go out in style, at least. Just a casual five of a kind with no discards used. Beautiful. Reset the bus as we go out. Goodbye, run. It was a fun one. Let's go one more. I don't think there's any sensible person that thinks that red card is good on high stakes runs, though. The three gold stake wins with red card? I mean, yeah, I have, I have them too, but it's been worse than nearly any other scaling joker in each of those instances. Like, you can win with any Joker.
not quite gonna be enough, but we have some additional econ from the fools at least. Yeah, exactly. You kind of have to ask yourself, is it the, the red card that's winning the run, or is it the good econ that's winning the run? That's a green joker. I will take that. What if we look for a flush? Just ramp the molt so that when we play this flush, it's uh, very good. But like, shop one green joker is just ridiculous. And save our money for now. Spades are debuffed. Same thing here. Three, four, five, six. No straight flush. Unlucky. So we're basically sacrificing money for the sake of ramping the green joker with the expectation that we'll get that money back due to the strength that we gain from the green joker over time. just uh like play some more sensible hands so that we can get closer and then make a decision I think a pair will get us there just barely jeez all right I probably want a like complimentary joker that counts down some now. Maybe find some strength. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm broke now. Uh, that's a straight. We might as well just take that right off the rip. And then we can just play garbage. To get the green joker going. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm not excited about it. Let's roll once here. Egg. Egg. Start with zero discards. Well, that makes delayed gratification pretty bad here. Just hit a five or a 10, please. I'd prefer the 10. Okay, well, this is going to be the hand now. It works well with even Steven. Now it just doesn't matter. We hit the 10 and the 5. Can I get some point scoring jokers, please? What are my... Second green joker. I need to roll... Like, I'm not strong right now. Okay. <laughs> Just complain, forehead. Uh, this will gain, what, $3 at the end of round? If I sell it now, I gain an extra dollar. I think we can hold it for another round. All right, we've got something now. Like, it's basically like a 2x molt on our green man. So, we don't die. 
do still want to ramp it a little bit, and we play the flush to close it out. Probably want to get out of the egg here, but I would need a joker to replace it with. Uh, yeah, the medium is normally very good, but I don't want to discard. Threes and sevens, get rid of the five, because we have even Steven. Okay, we're doing all right. I need a chip generator and some like times molts. And we'll really be talking. Sure. It's 80 chips. And fits our build. Play only one hand type. Well, <laughs> I guess we're playing high card. Never thought I'd see you take an eternal, eternal banner. If I weren't so invested in the green joker and so desperate for chips, I wouldn't. I'm not a huge fan of it. But I can also just get the plus discard voucher. No reason to roll here. What am I doing with the strength? Do we know yet? Uh, probably mine this. Whoops! Too strong. <laughs> uh, huh. I mean, Green Joker's just big enough, right? Let's roll. Ooh. That's a duo. As long as we're making a pair, that's better. Should be able to pretty easily make a pair with the help of the strength as well. Ooh. That is interesting. I have $45 is the problem. But I feel like tarot cards are one way that we could get very, very strong. I'm doing it. Nobody can stop me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Someone should have stopped me. I don't want the temperance here. I'm gonna start rolling down. Wheel? Okay. <laughs> nice hiker. Six and seven, this is perfect. All right. Go here, make these. I guess we don't need to make them both even anymore. We could do this to make sure that we have a pair for the next two hands. Could also do this to get double tarot. Maybe should have played fewer hands there.
Vamp would be insane. Vamp is part of the reason why I took uh, the Vagabond is to have that potential. Make everything a spade. Judgment isn't helpful. Let's go Magician here. I think we can probably get by with this, right? This over just to be safe. Really need to stop getting the towers, though. Take one of these. Move this back. Look for our abundant queens. More tarot cards? Oh, okay. This? No, this is probably better over time. Just make sure that we hit this. Pair fours. Let's go here. Wouldn't mind breaking it. Here. Now we can generate, uh... Okay, let's, uh... We can generate, like, temperance and not... ...have to struggle on it. Or even hermit. Damn. This should be enough. Yeah? Oh, so unlucky. Eventually, we'll go back to doubling up the, the duo when we need to, like when we need to get stronger. Nice. <laughs> okay. Just more queens. I think I have a lot of queens, right? Yeah? turn these into clubs so that we can then turn them into spades. Should actually like maybe consider changing more things into uh, black cards in case I want to pick up a black board. Almost out of debt. Out of debt, officially. Let's go here.
25, that's pretty good. Hmm. Another bad hand. I guess I could have made a flush, but... Forty-seven. Okay, we actually need to start making hands. Uh, this gets me three dollars, which is just fine. Let's do this. Here. Apparently this will be fine. Yeah. We might need to back off on the Vagabond. Could actually just look for... I think we just get out of the Vagabond at this point. Chips are welcome. I'll take a rather late... Square Joker, I think it's still fine here. Sock and Buskin. I think it's worth because we have so many queens. Bad time to pick up the Square Joker, though. This is why we got the sock and buskin. Cool. I can just sell out of this for interest. Just want to play four cards and make sure we're making a pair. I don't think anything else really matters all that much. Well met. Draculaic. Thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. Uh, probably should have kept the gold card in hand. Sock and Busk and Bus Synergy. There's a world where I do get out of uh, Square Joker. Wait, what is the boss blind? That's bad. <laughs> Basically like a immediate trial of the, uh, the final boss. Yeah, I don't know if we get there. Might have to roll a bit. Many kings, more king. Uh, turn the jacks into queens already. I think. It's gonna be hard enough just right now to get there. I think we lose. We didn't lose, but. We're not beating this boss blind at present. Maybe now we are? You did say it, uh, Ollie. I'll take it. This needs to go here. Or maybe here. not good enough. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Okay. Just keep hitting pairs of face cards. I think I have to discard here. I don't think it's enough. I think we're a little bit short. Nope! Oh, we get there. Okay. The discard came through. Oh my god, the discard voucher for the for the banner as well. We talked about that earlier. That might be the run if we can get through that. Depend on what our boss is. That's mostly fine. Like we can just go like this. We just need to figure out where. No, this is actually because of our Joker setup. This is perfectly fine. Okay. We would just need to find where the blueprint is. So I can do the... The cheat. Find the blueprint, find the duo. Yeah, I guess we haven't won yet. I don't think I need money. But, oh well. It won't be as free as some other runs, I don't think. Negative banana? Okay. I don't know if that actually helps me. Go here. It's actually, uh, this is 65. I think this is better, right? Be gold staked with banana. That's a, actually a good question. I don't know if I have. I need to be making pairs though. 60k? What is this looking like? Okay, it's slightly better there. But I still need to make a pair. Okay. Thank god. Uh, there is no chance of hitting Cavendish because I would have to sell out of Green Joker, which is my only flat molt. So it's, it is free, um, it is effectively free molt when it gets duoed. That's not every hand. <laughs> okay. So we need to isolate the duo and the blueprint, which should be easy. To isolate the blueprint. What is the way that I can get strong enough here? Like negative tag in the... No, because then I won't have any money. The word discarding to hit the pairs. It might be for the boss blind, yeah. Because most of our chips end up coming from the stuntman. We'll see how it works out though. So we go here. This is the blueprint. Blueprint is on the far right. We've got a pair already. I don't know if I want to play the pair though. Wait, yes I do because I need to find it. This is either Gross Michael, he's disgusting in fact, or the Green Joker. This is Gross Michael or the Green Joker. These could be anything. And this is the blueprint. So I do have to play this pair, unfortunately, just so that I can figure out where the duo is. Because that's what needs to get copied by the, uh, the blueprint, which is right here. So 
So that's Green Joker. That means this is Gross Michael. This is Sock and Buskin. Oh my god, it's so slow. There's Stuntman. This is Duo. Okay, I think we just have to look for another pair. There we go. It's a good hit. That might do it. Like, we got so close already, that might be enough. Put this here. Or was it here? We could also just find another air, and that would be ideal. Ooh, <laughs> that may have been the most stressful Amber Acorn I've ever had. <laughs> Usually that one's kind of free, but uh, it worked out.